We welcome to the show Julian Marley. So how's it going, Julian? Doing very good, thank you. As I Am is your first album in a decade. What can you tell us about? Well, it's an album that is filled with inspirational music. Um, It's an uplifting kind of album, you know. It's got a lot of fusions of different kind of um, sounds on it, you know. We have, you know, have some funk, we have some dance style, we have some roots, deep roots. Like, yeah, it's called As I Am, which is just basically as I am, you know. The music is as I am, and everything is as I am. So why did you have such a long break in between albums? I still can't find the answer properly. Um, I just think that, you know, for me personally, I'm a musician, you know, we're born, born as a musician. So it's not like, you know, we're running down anything now, trying to be, trying to be anything more than just being yourself. So for me, I think I just got, you know, maybe carried away with some touring and carried away with building a lot of rhythms, you know, like, I was not really carried away, but you know, yeah, you're doing a lot of stuff and then you forget to say, oh, I haven't done an album, I haven't released nothing for myself. You know, being a lover of music and playing music every day so you don't feel like you've been missing because I've been playing music every day, you know. So it's just a matter of like, you know, you find yourself writing songs and then you find yourself with, you know, 8, 9, 10, 15, 16, 17 songs, 18 songs. And you realize, whoa, you know, so I have an album, let me record some songs, you know. And that is how As I Am came about. It was natural, you know, not really trying to say, I'm going to be a, build an album this year. It's just natural, you know? Yeah, and I guess um, quality over quantity is best, isn't it? Very true. So that is how, you know, that's how I see it. But it's also, you know, I don't think you guys will be waiting another 10 years again for another album. Yeah. So what was the process like of putting the album all together? Well, the process, you know, starts from late night playing up, playing the guitar, and, you know, just getting inspiration coming from God, you know, and writing, you know, you find yourself finding melodies and certain topics. So it starts very organic from the acoustic guitar. And then the process is so natural, you know, because, you know, we have a nice group of great musicians that we play with that know how to bring out, you know, the, that, you know, the sound that goes with the song, you know. So everything just happened naturally. This is one of those kind of things. For me, music is... We don't force music, we don't force to create, you know, it's an inspiration, inspirational thing that's happening in the music. And it's just natural, you know? Yeah, so it, so it just comes to you, really? Yeah. Um, so with the new album, I, I suppose you're going to be touring this year, are you? Yes, we'll be, um, hopefully we'll be starting in the US, you know, in May. We'll be um, starting our promotions, you know, playing in, you know, new songs for the very first time in a tour. So that is, you know, we're looking forward to that, and we're looking forward to uh, hopefully coming to the UK and to Europe. Hopefully in the autumn. That's what we're that's what we're really trying to get to. <laughs> yeah, come to, come to London. That'd be great. Yes. So, how much of an influence has your father been on your music? Well, bone marrow, blood, and you know, <laughs> clean. <laughs> it's just it's a chain reaction, and you know, it's like. You find yourself doing the same message music, which is a humanitarian thing. So just find yourself naturally being musically inclined. And just, you know, it's natural. You, know, you come from a, you know, you basically you come from, you know, someone who has, you know, the, the trademark already. So you, you grow in that and you learn and it's just natural. And, yeah. you know, I have more brothers and sisters and not everyone play music. So it's just, if you naturally gravitate into it, it's just, so it go, you know. So on this new album, as I am, what what two tracks from the album would you like me to play on the show? You can play Are You the One, Baby Lotion. You can play the whole album. You know, so many songs. Who are some of your favourite singers yourself? Yeah, but Nat King Cole, Dennis Brown, The Heptones, um, Toots, Wow, James Brown. Why well, the list goes on and on, really, you know, because. You know, I, I grew in a house of music. That means, like, music is playing every day. Every day my mother used to play, you know, music. So I grow listening to so much different kind of sounds and being able to appreciate it after you kind of listening to it for, like, a couple of years. You know, you, you end up loving it, you know. So that's how we kind of grew up in a musical household, you know, which leads to, leads to being versatility, the, the, that versatility kind of thing, you know, because we grow you know, me growing up, we grew up in a time when, you know, my mother, them, I listened to Pink Floyd and some different kind of artists. 
where people play instruments, you know. So we grow from that era with me until we meet the digital era. So yeah, fully musically um surround you know. Fully musical, I would say. Yeah. You know, that's the type of artist I am, fully rounded musically. I think with a lot of people music starts in the home, doesn't it? Yeah, it starts off from, you know, when you're a little kid. And everyone, you know, I would say that every little baby love could be a musician if you give them an instrument at that moment, you know. But once, you know, you grow and then you start to like this or that, and then someone tells you, oh, music is boring, you have to go to lessons, and oh, boring, you know. So for me, if you give a, a, a little baby an instrument, you will learn it immediately, you know. So every youth is a musician. I've proven that by just watching and just observing youth. And they, you know, certain kind of sounds you know, children love. You know, they always jumping and making noise when certain songs come on and instruments. So it's a beauty to see the power of music. Do you think the music industry has changed a lot in the last ten years since your last album? Yeah, I would say so in certain ways. Yeah, they change. They become a bit more conscious, and as well as being conscious, you know, it's like they're still not. Um, really presenting the musicians and the, you know the people that are really behind the music, the people that are making that are still the musicians, you know, like myself and like another thousands of other musicians that play music, but the computer takes over, you know. So I do see the change, good, and we see the bad. You know, it's good because yeah, it's easy to put the music out there, but it's bad because. No one wants to be a musician now because you just, you know, you just pull up your computer and let the, the computer do the work. So it's good and bad, you know. So you have pros and cons of the technology, you know. We use it exactly how we want to use it. Great. Well, it's been lovely to talk to you, Julian. I've got one more question for you. This is a very tricky one. Out of your father's songs, Bob Marley, favorite songs from him. Wow. Check out the real situation. You know what I mean? That's a good one to... Get the people's mind conscious and awake with what's happening again, you know, because, you know, that music sounds like even real situation that was created in 1980. Right now, it's like, wow, so relevant today that you made the song last week, you know, so songs like that is great. So, yeah, you can play that one. And then after, you can beat One Love. Thanks for joining us on the show, Julian. All right, thank you very much for having me. One Love, yeah.